I think I think last time was part two, wasn't it? We did. I did like three parts because the first one was like fine, and then oh hey, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot. Um, yeah, no, the the second the first part was fine. It went like for like forty five minutes. The second part was um, which level did I do? Was it? Oh, okay. Um, the first part was fine. The second part ended with road crash, and this third one ended with uh, um, one of the jet ski levels. Tell no tales. Hopefully, we won't be having any more issues like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, when you start the level, by the way, uh, cra you see this space back here. Um, crash starts facing backwards as opposed to forwards. That gives the hint for the four boxes. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Another, um, that's the that's the ability. I should probably also introduce myself. Um, I am Daniel. Say again. I was just saying I should probably introduce myself since I'm here now and I'm here in the last oh. parts. Oh, okay. I, I, I actually I didn't even think to <laughs> to do that um, because <laughs> you guys have been here um, periodically. Um, yep. No, you weren't here for the last part, but yeah, um, with me this time. Yeah, see how I'm, how wonderful I'm I'm doing this stuff. Um, total pro. Um, with me right now is Pocket and Ace. Hello. Uh, Hi. Um, Asriel, whoops, I, as I nearly kill myself. Asriel will be in a bit. He's busy downloading porn. No. Um, he's doing stuff in the zone. But he's been doing for like three hours now. to come up with something ridiculous. Uh, like, I was an alien that came and killed him and still stole his body, body and that's why I'm here. But I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> apart from that. Yeah. Um... I'm to... This episode will be done with 75% less singing. Ah, yes, that, that is exactly, exactly what will be going on. Um, okay, I got all those boxes, good. Um, I think there's a checkpoint Luckily up there. for you, I don't even try to sing. <laughs> yes, that's good. I just have to worry about Az when he comes in. I just get other people to. <laughs> oh. That's, I don't know, that's better or worse. Whoops, I didn't want to hit that checkpoint. I hope that doesn't fuck me over. Well, when could a checkpoint do, like, do that? Fuck you over? Yeah. Well, the thing about it is, I want to go through this level, I want to go through levels the least amount of times that I can, so when you have optional uh, bonus areas like this, I kind of want to not have to worry about uh, redoing the level. And no, I need to redo the level now. Um, no, I'm sorry. It's not a it's not a huge loss. Um, just a little bit of time, which takes no well, time at all. Be a big deal. Huh? I missed the title. What level are we in right now? Sphinxinator. This is okay. level sixteen. Makes me think of the word sphincter. <laughs> What's it? Oh, shit. Uh, what is that again? What, a sphincter? Yeah. That's the actual butthole. Oh, right. Yeah, that's that's not something I should be asking about. Hey, thank you, family guy, for teaching me that. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so let's, let's just it fast forward a little bit. Oh, of course. Um, by the way, I never really highlighted, um, the rest of the power-ups that we got so far. Um, on beating Dingo Dial from Warp Room 2, you get this neat little double jump, which I love. I, like, always use it. Um, for beating... <clears throat> for well. beating... For beating Entropy, we get this, uh, Death Tornado spin. Um, not only does it let you do, uh jump for long distances like that if you continue to press it. Um, so eventually, slide, double jump, and uh, death spin 
results in the longest you can possibly jump, but um, you will sort of kind of hover. Um, your descent will slow down when you're coming down for a jump from now on. I knew that was going to kill me if I went too long. Uh, if I... I always liked that the power... I always liked that right after beating Dingo Dar, you got the power up that completely broke the boss fucking beans him. Yeah. The same could almost be said for Entropy, except for the fact that unless he's, um... Unless he's invulnerable... Or, or no, unless he's vulnerable, uh, after he creates the platforms that let you actually get to him, uh, you can't hit him. Though it does prevent you from having to, uh... Do those jumps to get to him. I forget, who's Entropy? Is that Pigtail? Genie. Ah. Uh, wait, then, who, then what's Pigtail? Engine. Uh, the the series likes uh, wait, wait. name puns. Go ahead, pocket. Um, pigtails. Um, where did the pigtails come from? Because she thinks that the um, the rocket sticking out of uh, engine's head looks like a pigtail. It does. Oh, okay. Yeah, small dick move there by the. Uh, if you just jump on the TNT, you won't have time enough to get to jump over and get the uh, extra life there. Not that I need it, I'm just displaying. Because, yeah. I'm annoyed with this level now. I just want to get it over with. Oh, but Jason, games are supposed to be fun! Yeah, but I hate redoing stuff that I... Um, have done already. I mean, I didn't do this portion of the level, but close enough. There we go. Now we can move on. Actually, we have a we actually have engine coming up now. The best boss battle in the game, incidentally, and the only one done by yeah, Coco. Like engine flash. It was a more interesting fight than the actual final boss. Yeah. I like pigtail. <laughs> right, and the reason he's the best boss is because rail shooter. You get to blow him apart piece by piece. Yep. Oh, I, I just said rail shooter. He's not a rail shooter. He's a he's a space shooter though. First time I played this game, it took me a while to realize that the uh, glowing hole on his stomach is another rocket. Um. Even though it's glowing yellow. Uh, this level is like the airplane levels. You don't um, you don't get any health refills though, so you need to do it in one go, which you'd think isn't terribly hard. Um, shoot the rockets to make them explode and not hit you. But there's two forms to them. Notice a little booster that we got just coming up into here. That life bar. Yeah. Um, surprisingly, is not the longest in this series, the longest single one. Um, the longest life bar properly goes to Embryo in the first game. Um, but if you, obviously, if you take both parts of the fight, then Engine is a longer uh, health bar, by far. Wait, who's, in, wait, who's Embryo? Was that Corkscrew? Yes. Miss Nickname. Well, I don't remember. Well, I'm not a gamer. I don't remember any of these people's names. You don't have Nicknames to be. These are all I've got. You don't need to be a gamer to remember names. You just need a memory that isn't shit. You know I don't have that. How can you, <laughs> How can you forget such terrible puns? Oh, of course. Yeah, that that should that should increase well, the. Uh, yeah, that should increase the uh, the memorability of names. When they're so terrible, you just want to go, oh, no, no. Like popsicle stick jokes. Yeah, I always did kind of like the names of the enemies in Crash Bandicoot games. Yeah, I, I, I kind of did too. So lame, bitch. But it always begins with in. Yeah. 
So the fruit bazooka that we just got is probably the best weapon in the game, and I'm sure I'll have to reconfigure my controls because I forget. Uh, it's funny how hold on. Yet again, engine has failed to defeat you. I always want to call him Neutro. Or will you? No, I'm pretty sure foiling plans. Say what again? I said I like I always want to call that guy Neutro. I think it's just the N. Oh. Um. Like yeah. I look at him and that's like the first thing that comes to mind because it's vaguely sciency. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what key I have. R2 or L2 or whatever map to, and I can't remember. Okay, so excuse me for one second. Um, I think I need L2 mapped to this, and R2 will be mapped to- oh wait, I, th I don't think I can use, um, I don't think I can use the fruit bazooka, um, here. Okay, okay, it's, it's gone, okay. I get the joke. <laughs> um, what's this level again? Oh, okay, Mad Bombers. Uh, we'll come here first. I'm gonna get the green gem. This level can be a prick in one particular place. Um, if you choose to get the green gem. And I'll show that when it comes up. And there's Jafar. Whoops. Um... No, Jafar never carried a sword. A sword. A sword. He also didn't have a turban. So it's like Dark Aladdin then. Not even because he never. That counts. Um, just real quickly, um, I hear a lot of breathing right now. Um, I don't know which of you it might be. I tried muting mute my mic, so I don't think it's me. Okay, it's... Oh, uh, went down. Ace, might that be... You, you're using the headset, or are you using just the microphone? Well, I... Well, I have to use the headset. The headset has the microphone on it. No, you've, you've said before that, um... Yeah, I'm talking about technical problems on the on the stream. On the stream. What, what lovely quality. Um, I thought you said that the webcam itself had, had on... Well, yeah, but the webcam's kind of like the webcam's always kind of far, so it feels like I can never really feels like I'm not quite as audible when I use it. And I think you and I think you said something about like the quality on the like the webcam the, head, the webcam audio thing's not very good. No, that's um, that's only that was no um, um, hold on, what I'm I'm, I'm trying to formulate words, um. The audio is fine, it's just that my connection was what was causing issues that day. I'm talking about something like way before that. Like where I didn't have, like where I don't like using the headset because I have to go behind my ears and it gets in the way of my glasses. Oh, I, I don't even remember. Ah, to you and your memory. Oh, well. Um, what is the friggin... Oh, whoops. I, I have this configured backwards. Naturally. Excuse me for one second. Um, well, while you're having more technical difficulties, I'll try switching to the webcam mic. Okay. I mean, you don't have to. I just... I don't know how now to... Now that you've brought it up, I kind of want to, because I, like, I can't help breathing into the mic. It's, in, it's right in front of my face. Oh. Uh, well, I'm using the headset, and I put the microphone right by my eye, so I don't breathe into it. It kind of looks like a Skelter from Dragon Ball Z. A what? Oh, it was Ske- <laughs> That's... That's one way to put it. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I've... You can just- can't you just, like, move it slightly? I don't know, I don't want to move it too much, because... 
I don't want it in the way of my mouth or else it's, it's going to be like touching my lips. Uh, well, like, no, I mean... What I'm doing. Use it like... Whoops. Yeah, just kind of move it off to the side so it's not like under your nose. But if I move it off to the side, would you still be able to hear me? Well, it's, mine's by my eye. I mean, you can hear me fine, so... Presumably, yes. Uh, okay, I'll try moving it. Can you still hear me? Perfectly. Yay! Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Pocket. <laughs> I've got to come back in this level because I fuck up. Um, we just spent an entire level talking about microphones. Yeah. Good thing you don't have viewers, right? Oh, of course not. Oh no, hold on. You need to pick a. You need to pick a side. Either you you <laughs> insist that we. Whoops. Oh, that was stupid of me. Because now I can't go back and do what I was intending to do. Because I'm stupid. Um, the, there's a death platform there for, uh, the green gem. Oh, well, I, I need to pay more attention to what's on TV, because I don't even know what I'm watching. I just saw a thing like a dog threw something up and then a cat ate it. Oh. That's, what, um... What the fuck? What is on my TV screen? Let me change this. Yeah. Just, just a little bit. That's, uh, that's not... That's not, that's, that's not, not kosher. I ever want to see ever again. Yeah, no. I don't think so. Crush Bandicoot is something that I'm sure we would all like to see ever again, though. He dies in funny ways. Yes, he dies in funny ways. no one to watch dead. Yeah. And he doesn't, oh, thank God. I was going to say, I hope he doesn't kill me. There we go. Um, for the record. Oh, we'll see that. See that box right there? Um, if you're going through this level for the first time, and you come upon this platform, it will drop you off just past that box. And so if you don't get it, you'll wind up missing one box in the end box tally, and you'll have to do the level over again to get the uh, clear gem. That was the aforementioned uh, dick move. Ooh. Yeah. And I almost fell off that platform real easy. Um... The double jump can be a bit finicky because if you wind up hitting it too late, hitting the button rather, um, excuse me, you'll wind up not jumping, or sometimes you'll, uh, uh, yeah, no, you'll wind up not jumping and then not making it, yeah, see, we're just right, uh, just past that bit of gap, um, after going up the platform past that one box. And thankfully, we're almost... To the end of the level, so I don't have to waste time doing this bullshit again. <laughs> the way you describe the double jump kind of reminds me of in the Shinobi games. You can only double jump if you press the jump button at the top of your jump. Uh -huh. Only it was a lot more precise than Shinobi, and that you do have a little bit of leeway. Uh, I've never played any of the Shinobi games. Um, yeah, you can. It's for the most part, it's at the top of your jump. Um, if you try, like, I'm hitting it, like, right there, you can't do anything with it. Um, yeah, it's kind of iffy. How many relics do I have? Oh, it's hmm. Um, Mad Bombers is a fun level. Um, a lot, a lot more random than, uh, well, I don't know if it's random, but... It's a lot more, um, you move all around a lot more. Crash is like no smile by his health bar makes me think of Freaky Fred. <laughs> oh boy. Say, say again, Pocket. Um, I always like the dog fighting levels in this. They were nice. Uh, Probably like sort of out of all of the, sort of, I guess, vehicles levels in this game. Do the dog fighting levels are my favorite. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I kind of like them. Um, Kind of. Well, I do like them. Um, there, like I said, there's a nice, uh, a nice bit of nice, nice variety. <laughs> um, but I don't like this level because uh, sometimes getting the platinum is a pain in the ass. Cause 
the biplanes can move around like a lot, so um, if you wind up starting going after the wrong one, and you continue to go after the wrong ones during the uh, during the platinum run, you'll wind up uh, being too slow. Like they move around a lot, and sometimes they'll move around closer to each other. Sometimes they'll move around further. And I was just hitting the wrong button there. Um, I think there would be a lot of levels I hated a lot more if I didn't go for the plane. If I, I mean, if I did go for the plane re relics. Yeah. Some of yeah, it's the, I, I don't. Yeah. This one isn't too hard. You know, it usually only takes me like a few a few tries. Um, but it's still annoying just to know that I'm guaranteed failure, as opposed to, like, sometimes I'll succeed at something at the first time, sometimes not so much. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to bother going real speed, just... Okay, that's enough. Okay, come on. It's hard to aim with these fucking things, too. Like, even if I wasn't playing on a keyboard, if I had a, a regular controller, it would still be a pain in the ass. Um, a crosshair would be nice. Yeah, a crosshair would be nice. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can do this one. The first time. Yeah, uh, see, the arrow points towards whichever biplane is closest to you, but obviously that wasn't exactly terribly close. Uh, it didn't drop me off too far from this one, though. And I can sort of shoot it from here. Uh, <laughs> not too easily, though. Get okay, thank you. Okay, actually this one isn't going too bad. We might we might do this in one try. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh I might be wrong about that. Oh okay, yeah, this one's coming toward me, I go for this one first. Oh no, it's not. Okay, that's that's a fine distance. Oh, uh, this it's might be close. Here. Without ads. That is. He's he's the he's the most talkative, I think. Yeah, I think he has the ability to say just random shit for the sake of random saying stuff. Um, yeah. And that winds up being better than absolute silence. Whereas Ace and I are kind of quiet. I'm kind of I'm trying to get rid of that because I'm the host yeah. here. Oh, I did do it one time. Got me. What a BPA. When he has yeah, half of his half of his dialogue is generally, you know, singing and stuff. <laughs> and complaining about terrible members on our forum. Oh. oh wait, he complains about terrible ones? Oh oh it, it would be just stuff relative to your forum, not just not general memes. No. <laughs> Because I, 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 I'm not a fan of memes after they have run their course. A lot of old shit from, like, three years ago is not... I don't I don't allow it. I'll be like, this is bullshit. I will not have you talking about old memes in front of me. I'll be... I'll be offended if you do. Because after something dies, come on. Give it a, a proper... Uh, I... Fucking miss that box. So, anyone here remember mud cups? Say that again. In mind, the dumb shark. No, I I didn't hear I didn't hear the word that you said, or I didn't distinguish it properly. Well, since you're talking about everything being about letting things die, I brought up mud cups. Oh, I th I thought that might have been what you said. I couldn't tell. Uh, yeah, well, I don't even. As you know, that meme, that meme died gracefully. Oh yeah. 
Definitely. Uh, I remember... In fact, I, I don't know if I am thinking about what you're talking about or not, but... One year they had it as everyone's avatar on DeviantArt. And everyone threw a fucking shit fit about it. It's like, oh, my avatar, why are you... Yeah. I was maybe just referring to the so I heard you like mudkits kind of thing. Yeah. Good. So I heard you hate old memes. Yes, I fucking do. Yeah, I missed that one box. God damn it. Okay, so I'll have to do this level twice. At least you got the purple gem. The crystal. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. not really hard to gauge. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can do this in one try. This one's not as hard as Road Crash or Area 51, which is the last one. I don't know why, it just isn't. I still feel, still like feel bad yeah. that I fell asleep okay, during 51. the last one. Uh, you don't have to worry about that, Ace. It's no, it's no big deal. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, maybe I might not get this one now that I messed that up. Um, yeah, you know, you don't have to worry about having fallen asleep. I think Az did that once, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. It's why we have m multiple commentators. <laughs> oh, of course. In case one falls asleep. But well, it's only 318. We have backups in case one falls asleep or gets bored. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that could have been much worse. Actually, I think I might have gotten a slight boost on that compared to normal how you're normally supposed to do that. I would have normally hit the barricades, I think. I think I think like 120 something is the uh platinum relic time. Oh, I'm not going to make this. Oh. Oh, I meant that that particular turn. Oh yeah, yeah, I might, I might just not, just barely not get it now. I almost missed that box, that would have made me fuck it up. Oh, actually, I think it's 121 something, so I might have to do this again, let's see. Yeah. Oops. Alright, not too hard. I mean, I got fairly close to it, as opposed to Road Crash always being like five seconds off. That was a that was a pain in my ass. I'm gonna have a fun, yeah, fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have a fun time uh, editing that. Oh you know wow! What I'm just like randomly thinking about what? I want a con I want a con bro. So I'm gonna go to conventions with all the time. Yeah, I mean, or just like, it's not someone to go to conventions with, just someone that's at every convention, and we actually, like, look forward to meeting up with each other. We go to all the same panels, we, like, explore around the vendors hall, talk about cosplays, and just, just like, do fun, like, fun, stupid crap together, and just, and just, just make the conventions even more exciting and more of an event. Oh. It's just... It's just someone who could help me stop being me for a weekend even more. You, of course, are referring to the negative traits of you. Which you're like, you're putting yourself down when you shouldn't because you are beautiful. I don't know, it's like... It's like, the part of the reason I like conventions is because of just the escapism. It's for one weekend, I'm not me. I mean, like, I'm the Demolition Man from Team Fortress 2, or... I'm Paninia from the first Full Metal Alchemist anime. Heck, heck at a new, at a, uh, hopefully upcoming conventions, I'll be a gender bent version of Mr. Popo or Lumpy Space Princess. I'll be someone cool and funny <laughs> that's that, amazing. You know, that's not as anxious and m much of a killjoy as I usually am in real life. Just a nice vacation for myself. Well, you're not a killjoy. You just think you are. Because you put yourself down constantly when you're not. Uh, you were gonna say something, Pocket? Um, I was just saying I've only ever been to one convention myself, but I did enjoy it. Oh. 
I've only been it was to... kind of lonely yard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't. I mean, it's New Zealand, and I didn't really know who to bring. Oh yeah, no. So I brought no one. Yeah, I wouldn't. Um, I've only been to two conventions. Excuse me. I've only been to two conventions myself. Um, Otakon 2010 and Otakon 2012. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Um, um, and the only reason I was going is because other people were going. Uh, friends that I had known on the internet for, for years now. And the sound effects stopped working for some reason. Um, um, but yeah, no, if they hadn't gone, I wouldn't have gone. I'm not going to go to a convention by myself. I mean, I found it interesting, but, I mean, like, I didn't really get too into it. I thought I'd just dropped by occasionally and saw a few of the panels and stuff. I didn't dress up or anything. Go ahead, it was just solely an anime convention. It wasn't anything else like gaming or anything. Oh. Oh, Jesus. As I almost missed that box. Due to interference. You ready to say something, Ace? Yeah, I thought you were gonna. Um, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not really interested in the convention itself. I'm more interested in the people, you know, hanging up with the people. Um, more spending time at the hotel, like we were apt to do those two years. Um, which is marvelous. Oh yeah. It's just like well, the convention just happens to be there, and it just happens to be. Oh god, if I miss this hole, if it puts me after the box, fuck you. Wait. Oh, okay. I, th I thought I might have restarted from before I got the Platinum. I would have been pissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it only took me two tries, but still. That would have been more time wasted. Because of that box that I missed, um, if you try to get that box, um, you're not going to get the Platinum because that um, cuts off a few seconds of the boost that you had riding before you uh, purchased that box. The sound effects went off again, that's weird. Like when I hit the box, the boxes rather. And when I landed there. That's weird, whatever. Yeah, see, it's silent. <laughs> yeah, we need ads. Yeah. Oh, I was referring to the fuck you. Oh, Come on. sound effects, right. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm just gonna have to take your word for it since I can't hear it. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's not something I think about when streaming. It's just like, oh, but you kind of have to. Um, mm. I have to, I have to look around though. I'm sure there's, there's some way. Maybe there's some way. I don't know. I think because mm. I'm rewatching uh, um, Soul Beef's uh, Metroid Prime Two uh, Let's Play. And he mentioned something about fixing the sound. I don't know how that works. And I don't know if it's anything I could do. Because while it's not integral, I wouldn't think, it's still a nice thing. I know, I wouldn't... I don't, uh, with, with games like this, I prefer the sound as opposed to not having the sound. Especially if I'm going to watch someone else play. Um, oh, by the way, before I get fucked up again, just so I don't have to keep redoing it if I get screwed up, because it's, it's essentially just a waste of time. It really is, though, and I hate, I hate, as we've been through, I hate wasting time. Speaking of, oh, um, oh, fuck you. See, usually I can, like right there, I can go across pits like that, like the cor the very corner of them, but then, you know, you get to the one where, oh, I need the box, and I missed the speed boost, so I couldn't get it that way. Fucking thing. Mm. The game's against you here. Yeah, just a little bit. But thankfully, it won't be for very long. After this, there's only one, maybe two levels that are gonna really get on my nerves. Or no, just just one, and I highlighted it to you in IMs beforehand, um, which would be the the last motorcycle level. 
Which is actually... That one was a pain even... Oh, go ahead. That one was even a pain just to get the crystal one, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Well, not the crystal. Um, that th that one doesn't have a crystal. The time um, trial is even worse. Yeah. Just getting yeah, just getting the regular two gems is a pain in the uh, pain in the neck. Um. Fresh cocoa. Oh, it's good Remember, time. it is not only Doctor Cortex that we battle. Beware of Uka Uka, my children. He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine. And it never actually fight him. The first time you fight him is in Crash to Insanity, and he's not all that terrible. Hey, fight who? Crash, uh, Uka Uka. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was talking about, uh, uh sorry, I keep forgetting. You can't fucking hear. Yeah, he was talking about Uka Uka there. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's very... We're not just fighting Cortex. We, uh... We're, we're fighting Uka Uka too, and he's more powerful than, you know, whatever. But he's really not. I should, probably, I should probably actually get around to finishing Crash to Insanity. I never did. Yeah, I got as far... I think I mentioned this in another stream. I got as far as uh, just getting to where uh, Nina is introduced, and my disc wouldn't go any further. Which, That's a shame. Yeah, it is. Because I like the game. Um, yeah, I did enjoy it for... Um, I enjoyed most of it, but there were a few things I didn't like. The main thing was that I didn't like that there were um, various areas that you couldn't backtrack to, so if you wanted to get all the collectibles, you had to know where they were your first time through. Oh, there there was, there was areas like that? Oh, God. I hate that sort of shit. Yeah, um, you got... When you got to the last area, you couldn't go back to any of the previous levels. It was just, now you're locked in that one final area. Oh. Yeah, that, that sucks. Since there were still, like, um, gems and stuff we'd... Since there were still, like, gems and stuff to find, it was really annoying. Yeah. Alright, in that case, if I ever... I mean, I don't have a PS2 or anything. I don't have anything this generation or previous gen... Well, I have a Wii and a 3DS, that's all I have. But if I were to okay. go back and revisit that game, I'd have to take that, uh, I'd have to take that into account. Um, this level is a bit of a special one, and it, it does something a bit unique. Uh, you see how I'm passing all these boxes right now, but, um, that will become apparent why I'm doing that, uh, in a moment to Ace and some viewers who might not know what's going on. Because I know you know all about this game. And, um, and here we are. This green gem will take us to a separate part of the level, and then once we're done with that, we go on, we wind up backtracking to an earlier part of the level. Um, there were some outline boxes that um, couldn't be gotten in the earlier section of the level, and they can't be gotten unless you come through this area first. This level isn't too terrible, though. At this point in the game, it's kind of hard to up a difficulty um, any further than where it is, just because it's the end game, so it's supposed to be as hard as the game really gets. As you can see, I had no issue. That exclamation mark will uh, set off the boxes that I mentioned. Like the one right on top of there, uh, that fourth question mark that I almost fell. Um, and there's a few more in the next section. Oh, we're almost at the, we're almost at the boss, aren't we? Um, I skipped all the checkpoints so I didn't have to wind up, uh, being set back terribly much after I finished the level. The, uh, the secret portion, rather. Um, but if I had died, then I would have had to just restart at a separate point. Those two question mark boxes down there um, are two of the ones that get set off by that exclamation mark. Go ahead. Mind if I ask a really unrelated question? Go ahead. Um, have you ever played the Game Boy Advance Crash Bandicoot games? I have. Uh, like years oh. ago now, but I have. Mm. They're not. They were decent. Well, some of them were. Yeah, they weren't too bad. 
Um, I, I only played uh, Huge Adventure and Entrance, though. I didn't play the uh, the crossover with Spyro. Yeah, well, you played the only good ones. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Fusion was a bit disappointing. <laughs> but such a great concept, too. Yeah, I mean, especially considering the history these two have. Um, you know, back in the day, when yeah. Spyro was just coming out, Crash Bandicoot 3 had a demo on it. And then they went back and forth with stuff like that for a while. I think I mentioned this in another video, um, in Crash Bandicoot 2, but, um, sort of the one thing I remember about Crash Bash the most, I never actually really liked Crash Bash that much, but the one thing I remember about it was that I always loved playing the Spyro 3D mode was hidden on it. Oh yeah. Spyro 3, you know, I, I like the Crash games better than the Spyro games. I found myself, um, replaying them over the years. But I've only replayed. I replayed Spyro one and two, and then by the time I got to three, I was just kind of like, eh. Uh, whereas I, like I will. I like Spyro more when I was younger, but I. Oh yeah, definitely. I like Spyro more when I was younger, but I think that I think that Crash has aged better. Yeah. Um, Crash is sort of like the Mario esque platformer. Yeah. Or um. Spyro's uh, controls feel a bit sluggish now. Yeah. They kind of do. I guess, I guess Spyro is sort of like the equivalent of stuff like Banjo Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64 for the PlayStation, and a way that has a huge focus on and stuff. Oh yeah. Open levels. That 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 is a very good analogy. Um, I, or is that an analogy? Something like that. Um, I, I never really liked any of the the rare N64 platformers. Um. I've never really played Panjo Kazooie. Never liked Donkey Kong 64. It's just, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's just like that style just doesn't appeal to me too much. But the Spyro game is when I was. I growing liked up. Banjo Kazooie, but Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong 64, I'm kind of eh on though, because I never liked that there were certain things that you could only collect with um, certain Kongs, so then you'd always have to go and backtrack to a barrel so that you would get it switched to a different Kong and so you could collect one single strangely coloured banana, but then there'd be another strangely coloured banana and you'd have to go all the way back to the barrel and change to a different Kong to get that banana and so on. <laughs> that kind I of shit. That kind of tedious. Yeah. That would be annoying. Oh shit. Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie from the other Kong I don't really like. I think I, I think if played. sorry, good. Um, Banjo toy I haven't played much of though. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I I think I would probably prefer Banjo Kazooie if I had to play one of them. Um, I think the only N sixty four rare game that I really played besides Goldeneye, for obvious reasons, um, is Conker's Bad Fur Fur Day. And that was only on uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Brilliant. Yeah. Because it, it breaks away from the... And you, I think... You know the story behind that one? Um, like how it started out as a kid's game, but then they decided, no, this is too generic, let's change it to this. Yeah, I, I remember reading, like, there was... Um, like, they had reviews on it as it was in development, and uh, someone remarked about, oh, it's, it's another another kitty rare platformer for all ages, and they were like, fuck this. And they made it into this, this brilliant thing. Yeah, it's like, screw this, it's wonderful, <laughs> yes, thank you Rareware. And it really is, it, it, I, I, I love it, the storyline, the the gameplay, which changes up like a lot. Um, yeah. What was your favorite chapter in the game? Oh god. Well, I didn't um, really have chapters, but like different worlds. Uh, uh, you know, it's been so long since I played it, and I only played it once. Um, I don't remember. Uh, I really liked, um... I liked the, um, war theme level with the Nazi teddy bears, and I also quite liked the prehistoric area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are pretty good. That The the last area, uh, the teddies area, since it was, like, supposed to be the endgame sort of thing, was, like, a, was a pain in the ass in certain yeah. parts. And then he had that Matrix parody after it, which was awesome. Yeah. I, I loved that, uh... Um... 
the final boss, the alien, just kind of comes out of nowhere. Yet. <laughs> like, they're... <laughs> the 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 yeah, they're the new enemy. Ow. Ow, shit. My leg. Yeah, the, uh... I thought it was... A, yeah, Tokyo Kong is bad for a day. I thought it was a screw it, let's do what we want to do. Yeah, basically. And I'm glad they did. <sighs> yeah. Best unexpected final boss. Usually I hate that sort of shit. When, when you know, they build up... They build up, like, something... Like a, a proper final boss. Oh, uh, hold on. Cutscene time. Which you can't hear. Uh, but usually I hate when they have like a final boss that's built up, but it winds up not being the final boss, or even involved in the battle in any way. Well, I think what bugs me more is when, um, you sort of just don't know about the boss at all until the very end, and sort of just the villain comes out of nowhere. Lots of games do that now, um. Specifically, sort of games on modern systems. Mirror's Edge did that in particular. That boss just came out of freaking nowhere. But, um, it's kind of funny um, that the Conquest Bad Fur Day final boss did both things. What I don't like and what you don't like, but it was. There was something just amusing about it. Yeah, it was. it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if, if the. The, what was built up as the final boss would have fit, I don't know how. Also, I'm using speed toggle here, just because, like, I'm detecting a bit of lag in the battle, and I don't like that, obviously. Whoops. Um, shit. <laughs> Why lag during the final battle? Not, not that it's the proper final battle, but still, I want to get this level over with. You know, I do think that the battle between the masks is more interesting than what, cra what Crash and Cortex is doing. Yeah. Are doing. They're, it, it shows that they're kind of evenly matched. Mm. Okay, I'll just... Oh my god, this is atrocious. Why? Look at this lag. I don't know, I don't know what it, I mean, I wouldn't think that this is very intensive. Um, which way is he going? Mm. Oh, left. But, <sighs> fucking laptop. Yeah, well, he emulates like being lagging on really quickly. Strength, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the power of the masks is too, uh, powerful for an ordinary, uh, laptop processor to behold. It requires last processing or whatever the PlayStation had. I think that's. I think that's. That was Sega. Yeah, uh, for I know, Sonic. I'm being dumb. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Uh, okay, there we go. Brilliant. Alright. So, after that. We get to backtrack. Yes, we do. Defeated again! This is not fair! Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big bags of ice for my head. It's not over, Bandicoot. There are still the gems. We still have a chance to triumph. <laughs> Oh, no, don't do the credits. Oh, why the credits? I like how they sort of integrate... I like how they sort of integrate kind of what would be, like, after-game content or replayability into the main game. game. 
um, as opposed to uh, elsewhere. I mean, they sort of hint at it in Crash uh, Crash One and Two, but not so. It's directly told you, yeah, go get the gems. You worthless piece of shit. No. <laughs> well, yeah, it actually gives you kind of context. Yeah. I guess it doesn't really tell you why you need them, but it says go get them. Yeah. And the, and Cortex being defeated has, has a different connotation to it compared to the other games. In Crash One, he was just uh, he was on his little hoverboard thing, and he was knocked off of his uh, um, knocked off of it down onto the island uh, by his own energy blasts. In Crash Two, you're in a, a, a jetpack battle in space, even if jetpack battle seems way more awesome and climactic, um, a phrase to utter compared to. Uh, Compared to what it really is, but Epic. yeah, no, 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 it's it's not at all. Uh, it just sounds better than it is. Yeah. Um, whereas here he just kind of falls below his laboratory. Nothing really happens. He just yammers on a little bit. All right. So now with the uh, with the dash boots, uh, running shoes, I think they're properly called. Uh, we get to come do some backtracking, as you said. And the way I do it is that to save on time, um, I like to use the power of safe states, um, get the fruit bazooka, fire, and that's not firing, and then zoom off. It saves just like the littlest bit of time, but it's better, it's better and slightly quicker than hitting the clock with your body itself. Um, platinum time. You could do that. Oh yeah, you can. You can do that. It's pretty cool. I've been doing it for years. Um. Oh god, don't get hit. I always thought that the fruit bazooka was. Help. I always thought that the fruit bazooka was really helpful, but it's, I almost never used it because I was always so terrible at aiming it. Oh. It's it's more useful for yeah. It is kind of more useful for that or useful for like boxes. Not so much for enemies. Uh, the game sort of advocates around... Uh, am I going to make this? I forget what the time is. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was like 41-something, but no, I think that's just uh, that's a, a developer time instead of a Platinum Relic. Oh, okay. um, how long has it been? Let's see. Oh, it's been 52 minutes. Has it really been that long? It doesn't feel like it at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised too. Okay, I have an idea of where to end this. Um, this this video, at least. I'm going to continue streaming. Um, let's see. Um, yes, here. Um, I'm going to do two things in this level. Um, first, we're going to get the gem off the red path. Um, since I haven't done that yet. And then we'll do the time trial. What I will do, probably, is... Um, I'll get 15 relics, and then I'll go do, uh... Area 51. Since I'm gonna have to edit, it's better to leave that for, an end, for the end of the video anyhow, so I know where it is. That way I only know three, uh, instances where I need to edit. Oops. I know this isn't gonna very, last me very long, but whatever. I like having invulnerability. Now we come to a not so particularly hard section. Um, since this is the first quote unquote secret area of the game, um, the first gem path where things are supposed to be more difficult, it's not. It's not terribly difficult. Uh, it does have, like, right there, if you don't double jump or you don't uh, hover or maybe even slide jump, you'll, you know, fall into lava. Nothing too terrible, though. It is kind of interesting that, um, well, from what I've heard at least, I'm not completely sure how true it is, that, um, they say that, um, 
you can actually beat the game without using any of the um, power-ups and stuff. Like, even for, for the time trials, it is possible to do them by sliding. Um, I, I think so. It's just that sliding is so much more of a pain in the ass because you can fuck it up so easily compared to just using the running shoes. Um, so I don't even bother yeah, with that. Control. Yeah. You hold it. You hold it for too long, or you hit. You hit the slide button um, too soon after you finish sliding, and you'll wind up crawling, kind of like that there. That small instance of it. Um, as you'll see right now, um, the fruit bazooka has much better application in level in levels like this, where um, you can get a much larger gain. All right, let's see. I know, this is totally tedious. But I want the best gain I can get, damn it. Yeah, setting this sort of thing up isn't terribly fun. Why don't you just start humming the Jeopardy song again? No, you don't. Um, also, bonus points, um, compared to the other, uh, well, I know Crash 1 didn't do it, but I, I think it sort of did it in Crash 2 with boxes that are directly in its way. If you just ignore the boxes, the, the uh, Triceratops will get all of them for you. I recorded Not being, I think it might have been, I think it was either this or Crash Bandicoot Reference Vortex, that I recorded being sort of one, occasionally like one box that, uh, Whatever was chasing you, I mean, I think in, in um, Rafa Cortex, I think it was a dragon. There'd yeah. occasionally be one box that the um, creature would miss, and that was always really frustrating when you sort of thought you could rely on it to destroy all the boxes. Yeah. I mean, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure whenever I play the game, I don't... I get all the boxes myself when I'm going for the gem. Um, but for those who would rely on it, then yeah, I mean, it's like... That'd be kind of a dick move. Um, let me see the end here. I'm pretty sure I am basically on track to get the, uh, the platinum here. The first few levels aren't terribly hard in that respect. I mean, they are after all the first few levels. Yeah, I see. I want to see more crash fish. <laughs> I'll be seeing plenty of them in a in a fair bit. Fish fish is always kind of confused me. I don't know why. Just it's a fish, but it's crash fish. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're just there for a joke. It just seems like a strange enemy to me. Eh, just a bit. Okay. Gee whiz, time. This will be the fifteenth relic, um, if I'm correct. And before I forget to save state, so I don't have to do that again. Um, I'll tr alright, I'll try not to hoard too much on the, uh, setting up. I've done it enough times to where I know, uh, what limits I have. Oh god. Um, and let's all take a moment to pray to god, whichever one might be out there, and listening. Um, that uh, Area 51 does not kick my ass. Um, I I'd, I'd, hope. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to get through that one without much issue. Like I said, I pretty I'm pretty sure I did that one without too much difficulty on my last stream, but there's no guarantee that's gonna work out in my favor this time. Also, I like how normally when you get all three masks, you do that sort of jumping animation. Um, but in the time trials, you just oh fuck, you uh, you don't you just keep running. Sort of a small thing to account for. That's actually. Yeah. Oh god, don't get hit. Thanks. 
Well, if you sort of wanted to be beating your time and going for a, that extra split second to make the code better, then you wouldn't want to be delayed by the free masks. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Well, it's it's praying time. So the big thing about this level is not only is it a motorcycle area, it's dark. So you need to use the light of the uh, UFOs that you're racing in order to get by. Um, it's impossible to get the platinum and get the uh, all the boxes on the first time through, I'm pretty sure. Uh, because you have to be mindful of stuff like pitfalls and ramps and stuff. Like that, it's faster to stay on the inside of the curve, which I wasn't doing a minute ago, but now I am. Um, and these UFOs can get in your way like that. And cause you to have to restart. Clearly the biggest issue I have with, uh... With these levels. That and forgetting exactly where the boxes are that I need to get. Sometimes I'll do that. What even how to see now? Because it's a bit dark. Yeah. You have to sort of go by memory on this level, which is, you know, oh so, uh, oh so wonderful. When I play through the game and did my amazing 104% run because I'm too terrible to get to platinum re relics, uh. this was one level that I had trouble with. This one was a pain. Oh. Yeah, for, for reasons like that, even just, there isn't that far to go between where I got hit, or where I hit the thing, rather, and where, um, and where that ramp is, but still, it'll, it, it'll cost you dearly. I should really use as during this one. <laughs> he's download. he's been, he was downloading for like th four hours. Like, oh, I just barely hit the friggin' side of the road. Are you kidding me? Um, one thing that I'm not terribly, entirely sure about, um, and I might have to test this out, um, I forget if getting that ramp is faster than just skipping it, even though it has a two box on it. Um, there's no pitfall after it, like there is on that one, so you'll you could wind up saving time because you'll last, you'll take the, um, the speed boost a lot longer. Oh god, move. Thanks. Oh. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, wow. Oh, damn it. I'm so close to making that. There was a plaf, uh, a pitfall there, which you couldn't see, because I was doing, oh, so excellent, though. Um, so you can't skip out on that one. Uh, I just hit the wrong button. And those UFOs don't really have any... ...care about the traffic cones and such. I think they avoid all the barriers and the pitfalls, but they'll hit the traffic cones out of the way. Oh god. I'm almost done with this level, and with no more light... ...left. Um, I might have uh, made it. I just asked how the downloads were going. <laughs> I just got to ask asking him how the downloads were going, and by the sound of things, they're, they're going a bit slower than he thought, he, thought they were. Oh, okay. Wow, um, that was three attempts, right? Excellent stuff. Oh, Jesus. Praying to God did work. Even if I'm a non-believer. That's disappointing. Now, safe state to make sure I don't do that again. Or have to do that again. And, um, 
Now we can get the gem, and then I'll end this video, and then I'll do another one. If you guys want to keep going, right. it is. Yeah, it's not going to yeah, yeah. anything else yeah, to fine. do. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, actually, I might be able to finish it tonight, which kind of is disappointing that Az wouldn't be there. Um, no, but it's going to be here soon. Sounds like it's even close to finishing. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, I'll I'll talk to him after this level's done. Let me get the um. I mean, it's definitely the... easier to get a conversation going when he's here. Yeah. Plus, I think he was here for the last one, so it only makes sense. Yeah. Um, I kind of don't want to pass the uh... other Wonderverse discussions that we had with Ezreal before. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. We've had some pro ones. Let's remember this. Singing, mouse strippers, um, what else is here? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. I'll be able to remember once I inevitably watch all these back on play, uh, um, watch all these back to see where I need to edit. I don't know, I might do a bit more editing than, uh, than on just those two levels that I was having issues on. I'm trying to kind of keep behind the UFOs so that I am, so that I can see where I'm going. I'm at the end of the level though, so I don't have to worry as much. Oh, don't move over right, thanks. Oh yeah, no, I did it. Okay, cool. I think when I wound up getting the first, le uh, what level did I do first for time trial that I got a platinum on? Um, I forget now. Oh, I did uh, Mad Bombers. You okay. Know, it was almost kind of depressing. Go ahead. It was almost kind of depressing. You seeing you finished that level, I had so much trouble with so easily. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think that was that's a great triumph for me. Um, I wound up not getting the the gold gem. Okay. Um. Whatever. Next video. Um, I go on hang him high, and I get the platinum, and then I get the gold gem, because. All right. See you then. See ya. Boop.